This is the X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. Covering the Loretto Mustangs, Summertown Eagles, and Lawrence County Wildcats. Basketball, football, baseball, and more. This is the X Sports Network. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lartsburg, Tennessee. Being family-owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Make 2022 the year to refresh your home. And who you gonna call to help? Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's largest furniture store. We've stocked our three acres of showroom and warehouses full of inventory and gotta make room for more arriving daily. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, all from the brands you've told us you love. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight-up deal on the best in professional zero-turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer.
Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit LawrenceburgFlooringandMore.com. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody here to Coffee County High School for today's Hall of Fame game between Murfreesboro Central and the Summertown Boys Basketball Eagles. This is AJ Good here on the X Sports Network bringing you this afternoon's game. Starting about 45 minutes later due to the showcase here going on at Coffee County going just a bit behind a lot of fouls in the previous two games taking a look at both sides as we head into this afternoon's contest summertown at 1-0 after a win over wayne county where they trailed as many as 17 going into halftime and that one they came back to win that one 61 to 56 their head coach is Wes Long on the other side from Murfreesboro Central defeated defeated White House 83 to 60 and earlier this morning defeated Red Bank 66 to 42 their head coach is Doug Worsley starting lineups for each side for the Tigers Jake Maddox Mason Brown Will Becker McLean Martin Isaac Smith and for Summertown, it'll be Will Daniel, Weston Pig, Cole Campbell, Grayson Burleson, and Kurt Burleson. Those are your starting five for each side. No pregame introductions as we try to get this showcase here on the road. The girls will be playing Paige at around 3.30. I would imagine that that side is also running a bit behind as well. That will be at Coffee County Middle School. We'll have the broadcast for that one as well. The officials are ready. Teams are ready. And it's time for Eagle Basketball here on the X Sports Network. And Weston Pig tips it back to Grayson Burleson, who gets it over to Cole Campbell. Now to Will Daniel near the corner. Down low to Kurt Burleson. Kicks it out to Pig. Pig kicks out. Daniel fakes a three. Drives. Kicks out to Grayson Burleson. Dribbles. Straight away gets a screen from Kurt. Going to try a floater. That one's no good. And the rebound comes back to Smith. Moving that quickly here is Mason Brown. Gets it across the timeline. Brown now over to Maddox in the corner. Back to Brown. Murfreesboro Central wearing black uniforms. Summertown in their white uniforms. Will Becker with it. Gets it out to Martin. Now over here to Brown for three. Back iron no good. Rebound comes out to Maddox. Maddox now gets it here to Smith. Smith goes up. Can't get that one to go. And a fight for the rebound is going to come out here to Daniel. And now a travel called here against Summertown. And the ball will stay with Murfreesboro Central. Just a little over 45 seconds here into the first quarter of no score. Brown going to take it out of bounds. Lobs it in here to Maddox. Max now gets it back to Brown in the corner for three. Back iron no good. Rebound comes out to Will Daniel. Gets ahead to Cole Campbell. Campbell moves ahead here to Pick. Pig back to Campbell. Now to Daniel straight away over to Grayson Burleson at the wing. Down low to Kurt Burleson. Burleson, turnaround floater off the front iron. No good. Another rebound for Isaac Smith. Moves ahead here to Martin. Martin quickly across the timeline. Dribbles, has it at the top of the key. And gets it over to Brown. Brown. Now over here to Will Becker in the corner for three. And he knocks it down. First points for either side. The Tigers lead it three to nothing. Campbell quickly ahead here to Kurt Burleson. Gets it back out to Campbell. Daniel, now to Grayson Burleson at the wing. Dribbles to the top of the key, now over to Campbell. Campbell, here to Pig. Pig, now to Kurt Burleson. He'll try a deep two off the front iron. No good, rebounded by Becker, and they move it at quickly. Martlin with it across the timeline. And gets it down low to Becker. Becker gets a screen, takes a shot, and he knocks it down. 
He has all five points so far on this one as the Tigers lead at five to nothing, 6-10 remaining in the first. Now that one is stolen away and coming back here is Murfreesboro Central. The jumper there from Martin and he rattles it in. Seven to nothing is the Tiger lead. Grayson Burleson with it. Now over here to Daniel. Daniel skip pass over to Cole Campbell. Now to Kurt Burleson, the free throw line pig. And now to Grayson Burleson, fakes a three, drives, throws up a shot, no good. <laughs> and the rebound comes out to Jake Maddox. Mason Brown moves this one ahead quickly and it's knocked out of bounds by Grayson Burleson. First sub of the game as Isaac Smith will check out. Alex Perry will check in for the Tigers. No subs for Summertown. Long pass now here in the Brown in the corner for three, and he hits it. Ten to nothing is the central lead. Two and a half minutes into the first. Burleson now over to Kurt Burleson. He now gets in the Weston pig. Pig tries a shot in the lane, rolls it in. First points for the Eagles. They get back quickly on defense. Martin across the timeline. Now gets it over here to Maddox. Maddox going to try a short jumper. No good. And that one is tipped out of bounds by Perry and will go to Summertown. A very fast moving first quarter here. Murfreesboro Central leading at 10 to 2. 5.05 remaining here in the first. Pig now to Burleson. Long pass over to Kerr Burleson that gets tipped in the hands of Daniel back to Kerr Burleson. He goes up and in. Leads down the six at 10 to 4. Martin across the timeline now to Perry. Perry on the baseline goes up and under. And shot is in. His first points. Tigers lead at 12 to 4. Pig now over here to Burleson. He's across the timeline and tries a behind the back move. Deflected to Kerr Burleson, now to Cole Campbell. Fakes the three, drives. Nice pass to Will Daniel on the low block, and that one's blocked by Perry. Moving ahead here quickly to Maddox. His left-handed layup is up and in. Now back, it's Burleson. Gets it to Campbell. Campbell's going to drive. Goes up, and he's fouled. Foul will go against Perry, his first, first foul on either side, and Campbell will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw on its way, and he rolls it in. Subs coming in for both sides. Jackson Bennett will come in for Will Daniel. Subs also coming in for Murfreesboro Central. Coming back as Campbell hits both of them. The layup is up, no good. And the rebound comes out to Campbell. Nice move ahead to Grayson Burleson. Burleson throws up a shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. His next shot, going to roll in. His first points of the game, it's a six-point Tiger lead. With it now is Mason Brown. Will drive and just falls. That should have been a walk, but gets it out to Perry. Perry now. Fight for it on the low block. He's going to go up. Can't get that one to go, and the rebound's going to come out to Cole Campbell. Campbell now across the timeline. Over here to Bennett, now back to Campbell, now to Grayson Burleson, straight away for three. Front iron no good, and the rebound will come out to Becker. Becker moves it ahead here quickly to Brown. Brown, right hand, left hand to lay up, up and in. Brown with five, and the lead's out to eight. It's 16-8. Campbell now gets it to Burleson. Burleson now back to Campbell, and gets that one. Fight for it. Will go to Murfreesboro Central. Fourth turnover here against the Eagles. Owen Zupkis will come in for Becker. Elijah Dean now gets an end to Carson Wood, seeing his first action of the game. Wood dribbling, gets back out to Brown. Now over here to Zupkis. Zupkis here to Brown. Brown dribbles, drives. And kicks this one out to Zupkis. He'll try a three. Back iron, no good. And the offensive rebound comes out to Brown. Now they're going to get it to Wood for three. Back iron, no good. And Perry's going to save that one for another offensive rebound. And that one's tipped out of bounds 
by Cole Campbell. Another sub coming into the game here. Sawyer Sherman will come in for Kurt Burleson. That one's lobbed into Perry. Perry now over to Wood. Dean Brown going to drive the baseline. Those are shot over to, excuse me, a pass over to Perry. He'll drive, he'll go up, and a charge is called on Perry. He picks up two quick fouls, 2.16 remaining here in the first quarter. 16-8 is the Tiger lead. Press here put on by the Tigers. Daniel gets it in to Campbell. Campbell back to Daniel. Now over to Bennett, back to Daniel. Now to Campbell. Back to Daniel, over to Bennett who crosses the timeline. Skip pass over to Campbell. Fakes a three, will now drive. Kicks out, has an open pig in the lane. Pin, right in the layup, up and in. Pig has four points, leads down the six. It's 16 to 10. Brown drives, kicks over to the Dean in the corner for three. No good. And we get a foul called. I believe that's going to go against Grayson Burleson. And it will. His first. His team's. Minute 45 here left. That one is stolen away. Lost there by Zupkis. Grayson Burleson, nice pass over to Cole Campbell. Can't get it to go. And getting the rebound is Isaac Smith, come, who just checked in for Perry. Zupkis now to Dean. Dean trying to find somebody and throws it right to Grayson Burleson. Burleson here now gets it to Bennett, who gets it back to Burleson across the timeline. Minute 15 left in the first quarter. Campbell, he'll try a three. Back iron, no good. And the rebound comes out to Brown. Brown now ahead to Zupkis. Brown back with it, doesn't take the screen. Minute left here in the quarter. Summertown trailing 16 to 10. Brown. That's going to be Zupkis. Brown going to try a three, and it's missed. Sawyer Sherman with the rebound. Now add to Grayson Burleson. 45 seconds remaining here in the corner, and Burleson will walk it across the timeline. Campbell looking for somebody. And gets it in here to Burleson. Burleson drives, throws up a shot, can't get it to go, and the rebound will come out here to Smith. They move it ahead quickly. Dean in transition, left-handed layup up and in. 18 to 10 is the lead, 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Pig with it. They now move it ahead to Grayson Burleson, drives the baseline, shot is up, no good, gets his own rebound, and can't get that one to go. Pig here with the rebound, tries to go up, throw up a shot, no good. And this one's going to come back the other way. Brown with the shot at the buzzer, and that one is no good. So after one crazy quarter of play, Summertown trails 18 to 10. We'll have the second period when we return here on the X Sports Network. I'm Mike Keith. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Hey, folks, this is Fred Whale, principal broker and owner of United Country Southern Tennessee Realty in Lawrenceburg. Your local Realtree Land Pro agent, specializing in country homes, farms, and land. If you're thinking about selling or would like a free comparative market analysis to see what your property is worth, please give us a call at 931-244-7126. We market your property worldwide to get you the most exposure, which in turn gets you the highest price in the shortest amount of time. Visit us at southerntnrealty.com. This is the X Sports Network. And back here, start of the second quarter here. Murfreesboro Central leading Summertown 18 to 10. Three pointer attempt by Becker is no good. And we're going to bring it back the other way. Cole Campbell now with it, with his team trailing by eight, 15 seconds into the second quarter. 
Campbell hands it over to Grayson Burleson. Gets it in the curve. Burleson now to Will Daniel. He'll drive the baseline. And his pass is deflected out of bounds by Mason Brown. And they say that that was deflected out of bounds. The official originally called it the Murfreesboro Central. I don't know how. He's standing right on top of it. Burleson now for three. Pinks it in. Grayson Burleson with five. The lead's down the five at 18-13. Carson Wood across the timeline here for the Tigers. He's going to get a screen from Martin. Picks up his dribble. Now over to Zupkis. Zupkis going to drive the baseline. His shot is blocked, but he's fouled. That will go against Will Daniel. And the first free throw by Zupkis is no good. And the next one is up and in. Coming back the other way here, it's Sawyer Sherman with it, gets over to Grayson Burleson. Burleson now over to Cole Campbell, now to Daniel, to Kurt Burleson. He's going to give it to Grayson for three. Rolls it in. Eight points on the game, and the lead is down to three in 19-16, and now a travel called here against Becker. Third turnover by the Tigers. Weston Pig checks in. Sawyer Sherman checks out. Original starting lineups in here for both sides as Wood and Zupkis check out. Maddox and Martin check in. Daniel with it. Excuse me. Oh, it's Weston Pig goes in, gets a shot block, and it's going to come back the other way. Ahead now to Maddox. His reverse layup is up and in. 21 to 16 here is the Tiger lead. Pig now over to Cole Campbell. Campbell and tries a pass and throws it right in the Becker. Six turnover by the Eagles. Now ahead here to Maddox. Maddox, nice pass here to Martin. His reverse layup is no good. Rebound, Kurt Burleson. Burleson here almost gets his pass stolen, but they get it ahead here to Campbell. Gets across the timeline. Campbell backs down as a fender. Now here to Pig. Pig picks up his dribble to Grayson Burleson. Layup up, no good. Offensive rebound is going to come out here to Summertown. Campbell, now to Daniel, back to Campbell. He tries to dribble through traffic, can't get that one to go, and the rebound's going to come out the Becker. And now we're going to have a, uh, oh, I guess a turnover. I'm going to call a over carry, excuse me, fourth turnover against the Tigers. 21 to 16 to lead, 5.54 remaining here in the second. A very crazy back and forth, fast moving. First half, Daniel with it, now ahead the Pig. Pig with it, the wing, to Kurt Burleson. Kurt tries to get it to Grayson, but back to Pig. Pig now over here to Daniel, now to Grayson Burleson. Grayson steps back, loses it, and loses the ball altogether. Now ahead here is Brown. Brown in transition, left hand to layup up and in. Brown with seven, the lead is out to seven at 23-16. Campbell will walk it across the timeline. Dribbling to his right and gets that one stolen by Brown. Brown, that one is up and in. He's got nine, and West Lawn will call this first timeout. It's a 30-second timeout here for Summertown. Trailing by nine, we'll take that one with him here on the Exports Network. Ren Wright Equipment has all the tools you need to get the job done. From bobcats to trenchers to augers to lifts, we have a large variety of equipment for every project, big or small. Need a new mower? We have you covered there, too. With great brands Hustler and Big Dog, Ren Wright is ready to serve all your equipment needs. Call today and reserve your equipment from Ren Wright Equipment in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. And back here at Coffee County, Summertown trailing Murfreesboro Central 25 to 16, 510, main year in the second quarter. Eight turnovers by the Eagles, kind of dooming them here early on. Campbell, now over to Kurt Burleson, beyond the three-point line, the pig, sets the screen for pig, picks up his dribble, now to Daniel, over to Grayson Burleson, Burleson drives, throws up a shot, no good, and the rebound will make its way here to Martin. 
Martin will throw this one ahead here to Brown. Brown stops, drives, baseline jumper. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound saved there by Maddox. And whoa. And tries a crazy pass, and it goes off of the face air of Grayson Burleson. Everything seems to be okay on that front. As Burleson will believe, nope. Everything, everything, everybody's okay. As Westlawn's trying to figure out of whether or not Brown was out of bounds on that one when he, the pass that he, well, the save hit Grayson right in the face, and Grayson was standing out of bounds. As Maddox takes out of bounds to Brown in the corner for three, no good. Rebound. Comes out here to Weston Pig. Now gets it to Cole Campbell. Campbell ahead to Grayson Burleson across the timeline. Now to Pig the other way. To Daniel. He'll try corner three. Misses. Rebound's going to come out here to Cole Campbell. Now to Kurt Burleson. Mid-range jumper. No good. And the rebound comes out to Martin. Martin moves it ahead quickly. We we'll try a reverse layup. He's up and he's foul. He'll go the line to shoot two. And the foul will go against Kurt Burleson. Kurt will pick up his first, the team's third. Neither side really in foul trouble here as Martin will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw on its way, rolls out, no good. Bennett will check into the game here. He'll come in for Grayson Burleson. Next free throw from Martin. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes out the bit. Becker. Becker's turnaround jumper is in. Becker has got seven. The lead's out to 11. Kurt Burleson with it. Now to Cole Campbell. Campbell picks up his dribble, throws it down low to Kurt Burleson. Nice move. Can't get that one to go. And the rebound comes out to Becker. Becker head here to Brown. Brown coming the other way. Long pass to Martin. Now over in the corner here to Garrett, Florida. He'll try a deep three, misses everything. Rebound from Maddox, and he rolls it in. Maddox with six and leads out the 13. Pick now to Campbell. Campbell will drive, throws it to Bennett, fakes the three, drives the baseline, throws up a shot, can't get it to go, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul will go on Martin, his first. First free throw from Bennett, rattles out, no good. Zupkis will now come in for Martin. Well, Daniel will check out for Summertown. And checking in is Leighton Sherman. Next free throw from Bennett, rolls in. One of two from the line, leads down the 12 at 29-17. Across the timeline is Brown. Brown moves ahead with speed, makes a move behind his back, and gets that one stolen away by Pig. Pig coming the other way, right-handed layup up and in. Pig has got six, the lead is down to 10. And that one's stolen away again. Campbell now ahead here to Pig. Pig picks up his dribble. Now to Sherman. Sherman here to Bennett for three. Nothing but net. Bennett with four. And Summertown's got the lead down the seven at 29-22. Brown will walk it across the timeline. Over here as Becker now with it. Now driving, kicking out here to Zupkis is Carson Wood. Becker will try deep three. Straight away, no good. Rebound comes out to Kurt Burleson. Now to Cole Campbell here as they'll slow things down a bit. Campbell hands it, nope, will drive. Now to Sherman, he'll try a three. Back iron, no good, rebound, comes out to Becker. Becker gives it to Brown, Brown with the skip pass ahead to Zupkis. Zupkis will drive, spins, goes up, and he's fouled. Foul will go against Bennett, his first, team's fourth. And Zupkis will go to the line to shoot two. 
Tigers one of four from the line here so far in the first half. First free throw, nothing but net. Dean will now check in. Brown will check out for the first time here. Brown's put in some good minutes, nine points. Next free throw here from Zupkis. 2-11 left in the second. It's on its way. Front iron, no good. And Becker's going to get called for the over and back. And now we're going to have a timeout here called by Murfreesboro Central. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take that break with them here on the Exports Network. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. This is the X Sports Network. Back at Coffee County, Summertown, trailing Murfreesboro Central, 205 remaining here in the second, 30 to 22. Bennett, now the Kurt Burleson, over to Cole Campbell. He'll try three near the corner, knocks it down. Campbell's got five, and the lead's down the five at 30 to 25. And that one, uh, that was saved and then stolen away here by uh, Cole Campbell. Campbell, now to Kurt Burleson, layup up and in. What a nice pass, nice move. Burleson with four, and the lead's down the three. That was a six turnover here by Central. Now Carson Wood will drive, blocked by Cole Campbell, and this one's going to come the other way. But he loses that one out of bounds. Maddox will now come in the game. Garrett Florida will check out. Getting into Dean, 30 to 27 is a lead. Minute 20 left here in the first half. Dean gets it to Becker, stolen right into the hands of Cole Campbell. Campbell spins, and he's fouled on the way up. Becker will pick up his second, team's fifth. Campbell will go to the line to shoot two. Eighth turnover by the Tigers. Summertown hanging early with this good Murfreesboro Central team. First free throw from Campbell, nothing but net. Garrett Graham Howell now will check in for Leighton Sherman. Wood and Dean will check out. As the next free throw is no good, Brown and Maddox back in. Martin also back in the game. He has it. He gets it over to Brown. Brown now back to Martin. Martin dribbles and gets it over here to Maddox. Max skip pass over to Brown. 50 seconds left here in the half. Loses control of it. Guarded here by Campbell. Throws it in the Becker on the low block. Becker turnaround jumper in the lane. Rolls it in. Becker's got nine, the lead's out the four at 32-28, 35 seconds remaining here in the quarter. Campbell, back door here to Pig. Pig in the lane, nice pass to Kurt Burleson, he goes up and in. Beautiful passing by the Eagles, they've got the lead down the two to 32-30. Brown will step out, maybe play for the punt final shot to Martin, now to Becker near the corner. Becker. Deep three, rattles out, no good. Rebound comes to Kurt Burleson under 10 seconds left, but gets that one stolen away by Martin. Martin barely tracks that one down in time. Baseline, those are to a wide open Maddox. That one is in, and that is how the corner is going to end. Murfreesboro Central leads a Summertown in this up and down back of fourth affair, 34 to 30 after two quarters of play. In 10 minutes, we'll be back here with the start of the third quarter. That's next here on the X Sports Network. 
Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. It's time for fun facts. Today we're heading to New Mexico. New Mexico is home to the first atomic bomb, where Robert Goddard tested some of his rocket ship models, and where a UFO might have crashed in the town of Roswell. So is there a connection? You decide. New Mexico is our 47th state, entering the Union on January 6, 1912. Here are five fun facts about New Mexico. One. So, New Mexico is so dry that three quarters of its roads aren't even paved because they don't wash away. Two. The Palace of Governors in Santa Fe is the oldest government building in the country. Seriously, it dates back to 1610. Three. The Pueblos of the Southwest have lived in the same location longer than any other culture in the country. There are 19 Pueblo groups with four distinct languages, and Taos Pueblo is one of the oldest continuously occupied communities in the United States. Some of their buildings are actually over 900 years old. Number four. There are over 25,000 Anasazi sites in New Mexico. Number five. 
In parts of north central New Mexico, they still speak a form of 16th century Spanish and it actually isn't spoken anywhere else in the world. They're descendants of the Spanish conquistadors who came in search of Aztec gold. And there you have it, five fun facts about New Mexico. See you next time on Fun Facts. This is the X Sports Network. Lawrenceburg City Parks are some of the best in the region. A collection of neighborhood parks and recreation centers able to accommodate and inspire the varied interests of its many visitors. David Crockett State Park is located within the city limits, encompassing more than 1,000 acres, including land once owned by the legendary pioneer and statesman. The park welcomes visitors with an array of outdoor activities and more, featuring a 40-acre lake for boating and fishing, campgrounds and picnic areas, an on-site amphitheater, and a restaurant offering diners a scenic view of Lindsay Lake. Golfers have a choice of two courses close to home and many more throughout the region. Lawrenceburg even offers an 18-hole disc golf course. Lawrenceburg is an outdoorsman's paradise. Whether you prefer the challenge of hunting or fishing, or the simple pleasure of a leisurely stroll in the sunshine. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PL company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 Six nine three two five five. AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. And back here at Coffee County, Summertown trailing Murfreesboro Central thirty-four to thirty. Let's take a look at the first half statistics. First for Summertown, Grayson Burleson leading with eight points. You got Weston Pick, Cole Campbell, Kurt Burleson, all with six each. Also chipping in with four off the bench is Jackson Bennett. On the other side for the Tigers, Mason Brown, Will Becker each with nine, Jake Maddox with eight, Clay Martin, Lige Dean, Alex Perry, and Owen Zupkus each with two. No one really in foul trouble. A lot of, the only one is Will Becker, who's tied for the leading scoring with nine points. He's got two fouls. Summertown with 11 turnovers, Murfreesboro Central with eight. Summertown seven points off turnovers, the Tigers with 12. Offensive rebounds, Summertown five, Murfreesboro Central six, and second chance points, Summertown two, and the Tigers four. Taking a look around college football, if you're a Tennessee fan, some good things looking at you right now. Baylor leading, T leading TCU 28 to 20, 852 remaining in the fourth. Illinois leading Michigan 17 to 13, 12 31 remaining there in the fourth quarter. In the SEC, Bama leading Austin P 34 to nothing. Mississippi State over East Tennessee State 56 to nothing. Texas A&M struggling with UMass 13 to nothing, and a shocker Vanderbilt leading Florida 28 to 18 with 12:03 remaining in the game. Getting ready to start the third quarter. Cole Campbell has it here. Original starting lineups in for both sides. Daniel now the pig. 
pick here to Campbell straight away. Fakes a three, drives out to Daniel. Daniel will drive into the paint. Gets it to Kurt Burrow, some beautiful pass up and in. Great ball movement leads down to two at 34-32. Also, North Alabama is trailing Memphis 14-0 heading into the second quarter. But they're driving on the Tigers' air as Max kicks out the Becker. Becker will try three. Back hour, no good. Rebound to Grace of Burleson. He'll bring it across the timeline with speed. Drives right-handed layup. Rolls it in. And we are tied. Coming back the other way. Martin, his pass stolen but sent back here to Martin. And, excuse me, Smith, and Smith is going to travel. That will come back to Summertown. 7-13 remaining in the third. A very fast moving up and down, a pace game for each side. Campbell here over to Pig. Pig, back door here to Grayson Burleson. Burleson, reverse layup. Rolls it in, and Summertown leads. Burleson with 12. It's a 36-34 lead. Brown over here to Maddox in the corner. Long pass to Martin, who barely gets his hands on it. Throws it down low to Smith. Smith goes to work, throws up a crazy shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Kurt Burleson. Now to Grayson. Grayson will jog it across the timeline. He'll step up, NBA range three. Ba uh, well, kind of hit the backboard. So a nice steal by Cole Campbell. Can't get it to go. And Becker comes up with the rebound. Sent back to Brown. Brown here to Martin. Martin will drive into the paint. Now over, that was a missed walk there. Max baseline jumper, no good. And Martin comes up with the rebound. Martin will dribble it out, now out the Maddox. Gets it over to Brown. Becker looking for somebody, gets out the Brown straight away. And that's an over and back call, and that will go to Summertown. Perry set the check in here for the Tigers. And he will come in for Smith. Campbell takes it out of bounds and gets it in to Kurt Burleson. Now sends it out to Will Daniel. Daniel now to Pig at the wing. Throws it down low to Kurt Burleson on the low block. Right-handed hook shot, can't get it to go. Rebound comes out to Martin. Martin here with the three on one, over to Becker. Becker layup up, rolls it in, and he's fouled. That will go against Pig. Pig will pick up his first. First for foul for either side. And Becker here with the chance at the AM1 and the take the lead. Back iron, no good. And the rebound comes out to Kurt Burleson. Tied at 36. 5.45 and a missed walk. That's more of a makeup from the other end. Grayson Burleson goes up and he gets fouled. But they say that was on the floor. That will go against Maddox. His first, team's first. Cole Campbell takes it out of bounds, sends it in the pig. Pig now over here to Grayson Burleson. He'll try a step back jumper. No, rebound, Cole Campbell up and in. Cole with eight. Eagles lead at 38 to 36. Long pass out here to Maddox and gets that one stolen away. Summertown leading at 38 to 36. Now 5.15 remaining here in the third quarter. Hand off to Grayson Burleson to Daniel. Now to Pig at the wing. Pig tries to get it down low to Grayson. Does, and he's fouled from behind by Maddox. Maddox will pick up his second. Team second here of the second half. Everything seems to be good as Campbell will take it out of bounds. And in the quarter to Will Daniel, fakes a three, drives the paint, kicks out the pig. Pig fakes a three, he'll drive, goes up, throws up a shot, rolls it in. Pig with eight. And the Eagles lead it by four, 40 to 36. Becker here in transition, drives a baseline, reverse layup, no good. That was a great effort, but can't get it to go. Daniel with the rebound. Campbell to walk it here across the timeline, trying to slow down the pace. Campbell now dribble and drive. Now to Kurt Burleson. Now to Pig in the wing. Now to Kurt on the low block, back to Pig. In the paint, Pig picks up his dribble, now to Daniel. And that one, oh, almost stolen, but to Grayson Burleson. Spins, nice pass to Daniel, throws up a shot, no good. And offensive rebound comes out to Kurt Burleson. Now to Pig, over to Cole Campbell. 
Campbell driving the baseline and he's fouled by Martin. Martin will pick up his second, the team's third. Owen Zupkis will now check in and he will come in for Becker. 40 to 36 is the lead here, 4.15 remaining in the third. Campbell looking for somebody, gets it to Kurt Burleson. Now hands it over to Grayson. Grayson drives, throws up a shot, no good. And the rebound, fought for, will come out to Weston Pig. Pig, Kurt Burleson up, and he's, man, a charge called against Kurt Burleson. He'll pick up his second, team second. Subs will now come in for both sides. Carson Wood and Jackson Bennett. Martin will check out. Grayson Burleson will check out as well. 40 to 36 is the uh, Summertown lead here in the third quarter. They trailed as many as 11 in the second. If Storm back to take the lead. Brown with it here for the Tigers. Throws it down low to Perry. Perry at the size advantage, now being double teamed, gets out the max, so drive the paint. And a three second call here against Perry. Central with 14 turnovers, six of those just coming here in the third quarter alone. 345 remaining in the third. Summertown leading it by four. Pig with it across the timeline, dribbles, drives, picks up his dribble over to Bennett. Now to Kurt Burleson, to Cole Campbell straight away. Gets it to Bennett, back to Burleson. He'll try a mid range jumper. Nothing but net. He's in the double figures with 10. It's a six point eagle lead. With, with, with it across the timeline to Perry, drives a baseline, and a charge call against Perry. Fourth against the Tigers. As Daniel will check out, and Graham Howe will check in for the Eagles. Six point. Summertown lead here, 320 remaining in the third. Big across the timeline. Drives, kicks out. It'll be Howe for three. No good. Rebound will come to Maddox. Max gets it to Brown. Brown gonna bring it across the timeline. Stops. Now to Maddox. Max in the lane. He'll kick out here to Wood for three. No good. Rebound will come out to Howe. Howe gets it to Pig, who gets it to Cole Campbell. Campbell will get it across the timeline. Crosses over. Now to Howe at the wing. Back to Campbell. In low to uh, Kurt Burleson, kicks out the Bennett. Bennett now to Pig, he'll drive. Kicks it in the Howl in the corner for three. Rattles out no good, uh, Perry with the rebound. Perry now gonna have to bring it up himself. Gets over the Zupkis across the timeline. That one is stolen away by Weston Pig. Eighth turnover and then that one is stolen back and given over to Wood. And a timeout here is called by Doug Worsley by Murfreesboro Central. They take that break. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them here on the X Sports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Back here, 2.23 remaining in the third quarter. Summertown leading Murfreesboro Central 42 to 38. Eagles trailed by as many as 11 in the second quarter. Actually by 12 in the second quarter. Storm back to take the lead. Grayson Burleson now back in the game over to Kurt Burleson to Cole Campbell. Gets it now to Kurt. Spins, right-handed shot, no good. And the rebound, checking back into the game is Garrett Florida. Florida now hands it over here to Brown. He'll try an NBA range three and knocks it in. One point Summertown lead. As they get the pass in, it's now Cole Campbell. Campbell will be fouled by Brown on the reach around. Brown picks up his first, the team's fifth. Campbell to take it out of bounds. 
Throws it down low to Burleson up and in. That's Kurt Burleson. He's got 12 leads out the three, 44-41. Dean who checks into the game. Brings the head here to the Zupkis. It's now going to be Wood for three. Front iron no good. Rebound will come out the Bennett. Grayson Burleson across the timeline. Now gets it over to Cole Campbell. And a minute 30 left here in the quarter. Bennett with it. Hands it over to Grayson Burleson. Burleson goes up and under, rolls it in. He's got 14 the leads out to the largest of the game for the Eagles at 5, 46-41. Brown gets a screen from Florida. He'll try three. Front iron no good. Rebound comes to Florida. His shot's blocked. Coming back the other way. Grayson Burleson crossing the timeline. Minute left in the quarter. He'll dribble through traffic. Beautiful pass to Kurt Burleson up and in, and he's fouled. And we're going to have to have an injury timeout as a lot of people are under Kurt Burleson, and Garrett Florida got the brunt of that one as Kurt fell down after his 14th point. 48 to 41 is the lead. Becker and Martin back in the game. Also checking in for Summertown is Weston Husky. So he comes in, I believe, for as we get a travel on the other end as Dean just loses his balance. That's now 18 turnovers, 10 coming in third quarter alone. Maddox will now check in. He'll come in for Dean. Sawyer Sherman here will check in for Cole Campbell. Bennett now dribbling, gets it over here to Howell. Soon stall your Sherman, excuse me. Now hand off to Grayson Burleson straight away for three. Front iron, no good. Rebound's going to come out the Becker. Coming the other way, it's Zupkis. And he's up and he's fouled. That will go against Daniel. His second team's third, and the shot's in. Four-point lead. Campbell and Burleson back in. Campbell, excuse me, it's Pig name bound into Campbell. Now back to Campbell, back to Pig, over to Grayson Burleson. Burleson, they out of wide open Campbell. They finally get it to him. Ten seconds remaining in the corner. Campbell picks up his dribble to Pig. Now to Grayson Burleson. Five seconds remaining in the quarter. And he tries to dribble through traffic. Can't. Coming back the other way. Browns layup at the buzzer is in. A crazy game it's been so far. Summertown leads at 48 to 46 after three quarters of play. We'll have the start of the fourth quarter when we return here on the X Sports Network. Introducing Cloud9 Fiber to Lawrenceburg. We take great pride in being the only locally owned and operated internet company within Lawrenceburg and Lawrence County. We're now offering up to gigabit services with plans starting at $50 per month. Surf the internet with blazing fast speeds and reliability, all while keeping your investment within Lawrence County. For more information, visit cloud9fiber.com to request for us to build your area next. Early matters during the ball game, you do realize that when we do it God's way, we'll always win. No, it may not show up on the scoreboard, and it may not bring home the state championship, but we'll truly be winners. We're reminded in 1 Samuel 2 and verse 9 that God will guard the feet of the faithful, but the wicked will be cut off in darkness. You see, when we do it God's way, we always are winners. Are you doing it God's way? And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Coffee County. Summertown leading Murfreesboro Central 48 to 46 as we start second quarter. Four, excuse me, the fourth quarter, I'm lost. Martin now over to Becker in the corner. Becker dribbles, drives, kicks out the Martin. Now here to Brown. Brown will bring it out to the Coffee County logo. Brown drives, will try a mid-range jumper, rolls it in, and we're tied. 
Brown's got 16, it's a 48-all game. Cole Campbell with it, stops right before the timeline, back to Grayson Burleson ahead the Western Pig, now to Cole Campbell. Campbell, nice pass, Kurt Burleson up and in. He's got 16, and they have a two-point lead again at 50-48. to 48. Brown now across the timeline. Over to Maddox, now to Becker in the corner. Becker back to Maddox, he'll drive. Kicks over to Martin, Martin on the baseline, will now go into the paint. And the pass goes off in the hands of Owen Zupkis. Back to Summertown. 19 turnovers now by the Tigers. 11 coming in the second half. Press put on here by the Tigers. Pig. Now to Kurt Burleson to Cole Campbell. Across the line to Bennett. Bennett now over here to Weston Pig. Now to Grayson Burleson. Kicks out to Kurt Burleson. Jumper inside the three-point line. No good. And the rebound was by Brown, knocked out of bounds by Weston Pig, back to Murfreesboro Central. 6.50 remaining in the game. It's a two-point Summertown lead. Crazy up and down game it's been. It's right in Summertown's kind of the way they want to play it. Martin now over to Brown. Brown to Maddox. Kicks it back out to Brown. He's guarded here by Cole Campbell. Man-to-man -man put on by the Eagles. Brown gets a screen. He'll try a three for the lead and knocks it down. 19 points, 51-50 is the Tiger lead. Burleson over to Campbell, back to Kurt Burleson. Lobs over to Grayson Burleson. Kicks it out to Kurt. Kurt to Cole Campbell. Fakes the three. Drives the paint. He's got an open Bennett for three. Rattles out, no good. Rebound Maddox. Gets it to Brown. 6.05 remaining in the game, and Brown's going to slow things down. Now handed over to Martin. Martin now takes his time, finally crosses the timeline, and that pass is tipped away by Cole Campbell. Campbell's been very active so far here for the Eagles. Brown will take it out of bounds. Looking for somebody, and gets it in the Martin across the timeline. And now he crosses over. Gets in the Brown. That one's off of Brown's hands. That will go to Summertown. 20 turnovers now by the Tigers. Grayson Burleson now with it, way ahead to Cole Campbell. Campbell drives, shot, no good, rebound Becker. Becker coming back the other way, now to Martin in transition. Martin shot up, no good, but he's fouled. Martin will go to the line to shoot two. 5.33, the clock stops here in the fourth quarter. I believe that's gonna go against Grayson Burleson. It does. It's his second, just the team's fourth here in the second half. Martin, the left-hander. Tigers three of eight from the line so far. Make that four of nine. Two-point lead. It's free throw from Martin on its way. Rolls out, no good. Rebound Becker. Becker's shot, no good. And the rebound's going to come out here to Zupkis. Maddox now over to Becker. Gets over to Brown. He'll try corner three. And he knocks it in. Brown with 22. Seven second chance points now for the Tigers. They lead it 55 to 50. Grayson Burleson now across the timeline for the Eagles. Dribbles, drives, shot up. Can't get it to go, but he's fouled on the way up. That will go against Becker, his third, team sixth. Two free throws coming up here for Grayson Burleson. First one on its way, rolls it in. Carson Wood now will check in for McLean Martin for the Tigers. Next free throw from Burleson, he gets them both. He's got 16. He goes now six of eight from the line. 55-52 is the Tiger lead. Five minutes remaining in the game. Brown across the timeline. Gets a screen from Zupkis. He's going to try another three. Front iron, no good. Rebound. Comes out the Weston pig. Now over to Grayson Burleson. Burleson coming ahead quickly as speed. Drives. Shot off the glass. No good. And the rebound comes out the Becker. Coming back quickly is Maddox. Maddox drives. Layup up. Misses everything. Kurt Burleson with the rebound. Now ahead to Cole Campbell. 
Campbell crosses over Becker, gets across the timeline. And lobs it out to Weston Pig straight away, gets it to Grayson Burleson. Dribbles at the top of the key, being guarded by Brown. And a timeout now called by West Long. It'll be a full timeout. We will take that break with them here on the X Sports Network. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. This is the X Sports Network. Back here at Coffee County, Summertown trailing 55 to 52, 421 remaining in the game. Some college football scores. North Alabama trailing a Memphis in the second quarter, 28 to nothing. It's Illinois over Michigan, 17-13. Michigan's driving. Then Baylor is over TCU, 28-26. But Baylor's also driving in that one as well. So volunteer fans, that's it's going on playoff hopes wise. Campbell picks up his dribble to Grayson Burleson. Now to Campbell. Back to Grayson just beyond the three-point line. Gets in the curb Burleson. Now to Jackson Bennett. Bennett. I have to dribble out the logo to Grayson Burleson. Grayson tries a move and gets at the Campbell straight away. And Campbell now bring it out to the logo. Now to Kurt Burleson, well beyond the three-point line. The Weston Pig over to Campbell at the wing. Now to Grayson Burleson for three in the tie. Can't get it to go. Becker with the rebound. Becker now hands it over to Brown. Brown, who leads all scorers with 22 points, and he'll walk it across the timeline. 3.35 remaining in the game. Brown drives, kicks it to Martin. Martin now to Becker, straight away for three. No good. Offensive rebound is Maddox. Can't get that one to go. Gets, can't, still can't get that. They had three chances. Can't get any, any one of them. Rebound to Kurt Burleson and Nicole Campbell. Campbell now to Bennett. Fakes a three, drives the baseline. Layup up, can't get it to go. And we're going to get a foul called against Summerton. That will go against Grayson Burleson, his third, team's fifth. 3.05 remaining. As Brown will walk it across the timeline for the Tigers, playing their second game today. Brown, long pass over to Martin, now over to Maddox in the corner. Maddox, now to Becker, fakes the three drives, kicks out to Martin. Martin looking for somebody, drives, back door here to Maddox. Maddox's shot is no good, rebound there is a Perry. 57-52 is the lead. Coming back the other way, Pig stops his dribble to Grayson Burleson, drives, shot up, and a charge is called against Grayson Burleson. His fourth, team sixth. Becker taken out of bounds here. Press put on here by the Eagles. Five-point Tiger lead, 2.20 remaining. Max with it over to Brown. Brown across the timeline. He'll come ahead quickly with speed and dribble out of traffic. Brown now will try his shot from the free throw line. He knocks it in. Brown with 24 to lead all scores. It's a seven-point Tiger lead. Long pass from Campbell to Pig is knocked out of bounds. Clock stops in a minute 59. Grayson Burleson will check back in as Howe will check out. Campbell looking for somebody. Gets it in the curb, Burleson. Now here to Bennett in the corner for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Brown. Becker with him now. 
And gets it back to Brown. Minute 45 remaining. He'll get it across the timeline. Seven-point Tiger lead. Brown dribbles now over to Becker. Becker now to Maddox. So there's a down low for Perry. Perry gets a shot block from behind by Burleson. They say he found him on the way up. And that will be the fifth for Grayson Burleson. He'll come out with 16 points. Two shots coming up here for Perry. Tab will check in and Grayson will check out. Perry with four points so far on the afternoon here for the Tigers. First one on its way, and it's no good. Tigers now four of 11 from the line. Next shot on its way, missed them both. Coming back the other way, Weston Pig with it across the timeline for the Eagles. Kicks here to Howe. He'll try a corner three, no good. And that one's knocked out of bounds by Brown. A good fight for the rebound with Bennett. Ball stays with the Eagles. As Campbell inbounds to Bennett, back to Campbell. Campbell spins in the paint, right hand to lay up. Can't get it to go. Max comes up with the rebound, gets ahead to Brown. Brown with a nice move across the timeline. He'll try a left-handed layup, rolls it in. Brown can't do anything wrong in this one. He's got 26 points as Doug Worley will call a full timeout here at the minute seven re remaining, leading by nine. We'll take that break with him here on the X Sports Network. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Cares, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. And back here at Coffee County. As Summertown Trail 61 to 52. Minute left here in the game. Howell with it. Excuse me, that's Sawyer Sherman. Now down low to Kerr Burleson. Nice pass here. Speaking of how tries a shot, can't get that one to go. And we get a foul called here against Perry. Perry will pick up his fourth. He's the only one in foul trouble so far for the Tigers. 53 seconds remaining. Kurt Burleson will go to the line for the one and one. Pig and Andrew Maybury will check in for Howe and Sherman. One and one coming up for the Eagles. Six of eight from the line so far. First one on its way, nothing but net. Kurt's got 17. Next one's on its way and rolls out no good. I said Kurt's got 16, excuse me. Now across the timeline is Brown, 40 seconds remaining, left-handed layup up and in. Brown with 28, the lead's out to 10. Bennett with it here across the timeline. Now to Cole Campbell. Campbell to Kurt Burleson, he'll try three, knocks it down. Burleson with 20, the lead's down to seven with 29 seconds remaining. Be just a 30 second timeout here called by Summertown. We'll just keep it here for the time being. Summertown who was down as many as 12 in the second qu quarter. Stormback had a five point lead at one point in this game and fortunately things just didn't work out for him there.
They have it still in this one, trailing by 7, 63-56. Update from Memphis, North Alabama trailing the Tigers 28 to nothing midway through the second quarter here in college football. Becker to try to take it out of bounds, looking for somebody. He's struggling with it, finally hands it off to Maddox, and a foul is called against Andrew Mabry. Mabry's first, team's eighth, a one-on-one -on -one coming up on the other end. Hal and Sherman, and for Mabry and Pig. One-on-one -on -one coming up for Maddox. Tigers four of 12 from the line so far this afternoon. First shot on its way. Misses, and Becker comes up with a rebound. And, but next opportunity goes out of bounds. Coming back quickly the other way, Campbell here. Trailing by seven to Bennett, now to Kerr Burleson. Over here to Sherman for three. Back iron no good. Rebound will come to Bennett. Bennett throws up a shot, no good. Rebound, Kerr Burleson, he's fouled from behind. It's going to be on Maddox, his third. Team's eighth, one-on-one -on -one coming up for Kurt Burleson. Pig and Mayberry in for Hal and Sherman. Eagles seven to ten from the line. Burleson's first free throw back iron, no good. And they get this one quickly across here to Zupkis. Zupkis is going to pick up his dribble. Hits Becker. And they're just going to try to dribble this one out, and they will. That will do it here as Murfreesboro Central improves to 3-0 on the season, defeating Summertown 63-56. The Eagles will fall to 1-1 on the season. Taking a look at the final stats for the Eagles, Kurt Burleson led all scores with 20. Grayson Burleson with 16. You had Weston Pig and Cole Campbell each with eight. And Jackson Bennett with four on the other side for the Tigers. Leading all scores was Mason Brown with 28. Coming up here in just over an hour, maybe a little bit longer, will be Summertown's girls taking on a page over at Coffee County Middle School. We'll have that one here coming up shortly. For Kevin Wright, I'm A.J. Good here on the X Sports Network. This is the X Sports Network. <laughs>